you guys it is 10 a.m on a monday and we have just been sleeping chilling in bed we have had a very very slow morning to say the least and honestly my whole weekend has been like that but today we are turning it around it is monday we never miss a monday we're going to the gym and we are getting our shit together because I just have felt so gross and slow and unproductive this whole weekend, which was definitely needed and we'll talk about that later, but it's time to make a change. I had my two days of just lounging and doing nothing and just rotting in bed, so today we're getting up. Let's get ready to go to the gym, turn around our day, and have a good long weekend bed is made that is the first step to a good morning routine and just like setting the ball rolling for the day always make your bed i slicked my hair back put it in a braid this is the outfit of the day or of the workout should i say the next step is to write myself a little bit of a to-do list even though i don't really have much to do today it really helps me just to like plan out my day a little bit and give me things to do, things that I could work on because I notice that when I have a little bit of structure to my day, I'm always the most productive and like the most motivated to do things. If you're curious, my planner is from Papier, Papier, I don't know how to say it, but literally the only thing that I want to do today other than go to the gym is work on my college apps. So we're gonna do that for a little bit later today because I need something to do. Usually my weekends are not this chill, which is why I feel like I was having a hard time getting motivated to like get up out of bed because I was like, ah, I just wanna enjoy not having anything. But we had two days of that, it's time to get moving. So now that hair is ready, gym outfit is on, let's go to the gym and have a killer leg day. And I'm gonna go drink a Celsius on the way. <laughs> gym i actually had an amazing workout today i did the 12 3 30 tiktok trend as my cardio which literally had me drenched i didn't really feel like running today so i just did like incline walking for those of you who don't know it's 12 incline three speed for 30 minutes so that had me absolutely dying and then i did a 30 minute sammy clark form workout and that was like full body strength hit focused and then i ended up doing three exercises that were super super glute focused and pretty heavy and those were rdls sumo squats and hip thrusts so that was my workout it actually took me a lot longer than i thought i was gonna take it's now 140. that's the thing with like starting your day kind of late is i feel like you just lose your day but i'm still really proud of myself for like getting to the gym and just like doing the things and it's okay that it's a little bit later in the day when we're done I have a few things that I want to get done in the rest of the day. I want to go to Target, and I also have to work on some college apps for a little bit. But the UV is 9 right now, so I'm going to give myself like 30 to 45 minutes just to kind of lay in the sun and tan because now that it's September, I'm very much in like the fall vibes. But I don't want to lose my tan because I have senior portraits coming up in 16 days. So we're going to go tan for a little bit try to get nice and crispy then we're gonna take a shower and go run our errands 
Also, I came back and I ate a yogurt bowl. I just didn't show you guys because I feel like that's the same thing I eat in every video. So if you guys don't know what that is, just go check out one of my other videos and you will definitely see it. So we got our workout in, we're all fueled, ready to go tan. But before I do that, I actually wanna tell you guys about a little challenge that I'm making for myself. I haven't done like a little challenge in so long. Like this is taking me back to my quarantine days, but just to like push myself and motivate myself, I'm gonna do a September challenge. So if you guys wanna join me, feel free. And I got inspo for this on a TikTok that I actually saw while I was working out. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it because I'm feeling a little bit unmotivated. Honestly, this weekend I haven't really been acting how I want to act. I feel like I've been really random with like my nutrition and stuff and just not being my best self. So that's all changing today. So for my September challenge, I want to do a daily walk that's like outside of my workout, just like with my family or alone, whatever, aiming for 10,000 steps a day. I'm also gonna drink four of my Stanley cups every single day. I'm gonna eat three meals at home and max one processed protein source. So that could be like one protein bar or one protein shake. But I wanna make sure that I'm not like having protein bars and protein shakes because I feel like I always feel my best when I'm eating all of my protein from like whole foods and like natural sources. Also, no eating past 9.30 p.m. This is not for any like dietary reasons. Like I feel like a lot of people believe in like intermittent fasting and all of that stuff. It's not for anything like that. It's just because I notice that when I start snacking at night, these meals and snacks tend to be less focus towards my goals and they're more like random and they just don't make me feel good the next day. So no eating past 9.30. I wanna make sure that I'm having all of my meals, all of my snacks before then. Also, I noticed that that helps me with my digestion the next morning because when I eat super late at night, I end up waking up really bloated the next morning. So that's just for what works for me, but it's not for like, oh, you burn the most fat when you don't eat this time. No, nothing like that. Um, Stick to my workout split, which has been kind of all over the place but like just hitting all of my workouts one night out a week i don't i i love like going out and being with friends and staying up late but then the later i stay up either i get less sleep that night or i can't wake up and do the habits that i want to have the next morning so i don't want to like limit myself but i am as we go into like the fall more like disciplined routine part of the year, I am trying to make sure that I'm getting enough sleep and really just staying on task. So one night out a week, but I'm gonna be a little bit flexible with that one. And I wanna make sure that I'm getting six and a half hours of sleep daily minimum. And I know that is not enough, you guys, but you know with my gym schedule and waking up at 4.30, it's hard. And then like with homework and high school. So ideally we're getting seven to eight hours a night, but for this challenge, I don't want it to be too crazy, so we're saying six and a half minimum. And then the last thing that I'm doing is one free meal a week. And this is a very controversial topic because you guys know I don't believe in cheat days, I don't believe in cheat meals because this is a lifestyle, you shouldn't have to cheat on it. But that being said, I do feel like I've been leaning a lot into balance recently, especially like in the summer, which is so fun. Like for example, last night I went out to Cold Stone with all my friends. Oh my God, you guys, I love Cold Stone. It literally made my soul so happy. And these past few months, I've really been focusing on glute growth, which goes kind of hand in hand because if you wanna grow your glutes, you gotta be at maintenance or a surplus. So it's really like worked well, but now I've reached a point where I'm getting a little bit uncomfortable and I do want to just lose a little bit of fat ideally, but I'm gonna do this without tracking, nothing like that. Really just being a little bit more disciplined with the food choices that I'm making, making sure that I'm eating my three meals at home, stuff like that. So I'm really ready to enter a more disciplined phase in life. And I have found myself thinking about this and when I think about it too much, then I end up craving the foods that won't help my goals even more. So to kind of prevent this, I'm gonna be super, super disciplined 
in the week with making sure that my meals are home cooked, lots of protein, whole foods, greens, all of that. And then I'm giving myself one free meal on the weekends just to not think about my fitness goals, nothing like that, eat whatever I want, whatever. Please don't come for me because I know in the past I've like really talked about not having cheat days or anything like that. And honestly, I'm not gonna call this a cheat day. It's more of just a meal slash day where fitness goals aren't my number one priority and I'm hoping that this will help me stay really disciplined within the week. I've talked about this before but I just feel like in life and your fitness journey in general you're gonna have different phases of life and your fitness journey and I've had phases where I was super super disciplined and I've had phases where I was super super balanced and I would say that I'm coming out of a very balanced phase and moving into a more disciplined phase and that's just what I'm craving that's just what I enjoy in the fall of course I still want a like flexible discipline a balanced discipline so like of course for fall baking and cookies and all of the fall treats like we're still gonna be eating those so don't get me wrong like this isn't restrictive whatsoever. This is just a little bit more disciplined and I'm just trying to be a little bit more conscious of my fitness goals and my physique goals while still having a balanced lifestyle. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to DM me if you have any questions. That's actually a really good reminder. Follow my other social media platforms. I have Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok, Omelie Desai and FitWOmelie. And this is just a better way to stay connected with me, see all parts of my life. I do post a lot more like food and life and just like all aspects of my life on these accounts. So definitely go make sure to follow. I also have Snapchat, which is like even more of an unfiltered, like personal part of my life. It's just Omelie Desai. So make sure to go add those but that's my little health update for you guys what my goals are looking like stuff like that oh last thing before we go tan i officially signed up for my first half marathon it is on october 1st so a little bit less than one month from today and i'm really excited kind of nervous um, I am just kind of skipping through my half marathon training plan because I've worked my way up to about eight miles and I've run 10 miles before and honestly I'm getting kind of tired of my half marathon training plan like I miss just having a really solid lifting routine with cardio so I just want to like get it out of the way run my half marathon and get it over with so we are officially four weeks out from a half marathon, which is really crazy, which is another reason why I'm really trying to be more disciplined with my nutrition choices and workouts, because at least for me, my nutrition plays such a large role in my running. On weeks where I've eaten really well, really clean, lots of protein, I notice that my runs go really, really well. Whereas on weeks where I've kind of eaten whatever, been super random with my foods, not really focused on like eating whole foods, I don't have as much energy for my runs and they don't go as well as I want them to so this challenge is not only just to like re-motivate myself and help myself be more disciplined but it's also to help prep for my first ever half marathon so I'm super super excited lots of news lots of change um, I'm really excited for the season of my life and I'm hoping that this can really help spark motivation so if you guys want to join me on a little September challenge feel free maybe use some of my things as inspo Feel free to make your own challenge, whatever you want. But that's my September challenge. Now I'm gonna go tan for a little bit and then we're gonna get the day rolling after we shower. All right, all ready for the day. We are gonna go to Target because I have to get a few things. And then we are gonna go to Starbucks and sit and do our college apps because that is the only way that I can be productive. So I'm just wearing like a super comfy outfit that also kind of looks a little bit put together. This tank top is from Amazon. I actually get so much of my clothes from Amazon, you guys have no idea. I just don't have an Amazon storefront yet because I'm not 18, but less than six months and that will be coming. And then I have these white linen pants and they're from Berksha, I believe. I got them when I was in Portugal. Also, ignore this mess. We have construction going on, 
So everything that's usually in my bathroom has to be in my room, unfortunately. I did some super light makeup, barely anything. I just put on some glow screen and eyebrow gel because I have to go get makeup remover wipes from Target because I literally don't have any. So I literally have mascara on from like a day ago, which is literally disgusting. So we're looking a little bit rough, but that's okay. We're gonna go fix it with some Target makeup removing wipes. So we're going super, super light on the makeup right now. This is the little outfit. Let's go do our errands. time damage was of course done because all of the fall themed stuff was out and oh my god you guys like I love fall I'm so excited for fall so I feel like I did pretty good saying no to things but a few things were a must so the first thing I got are you kidding me it's like this really cute like fall white pumpkin candle and it smells like like pumpkin vanilla y. I already needed a fall candle. This is like fall candle and decor. So, so freaking cute. Turn my car on, it's way too hot in here. I usually don't get clothes from Target, but today they actually had really cute things. So I'm super excited. The first thing I got was this like leather looking kind of orangish brown tube top. Not sure how the quality is gonna be, but we're gonna try it out. And then I've actually been needing one of these for so long, but I didn't know where to get one. And Target has them, and it's like this little bolero thing, and it's actually really, really soft, and it wasn't too expensive. So that's all the clothes that I got. The last little bit of fall decor that I got is like this cute little vase with like fall plants in it. So, so cute. Everything else is like pretty much like household essentials. I got a little bit of food and some skincare. So this I've actually never tried, but it's my cellar cleansing jelly from Neutrogena. So that's like gonna be one way that I take off makeup. And then these are the makeup wipes also by Neutrogena that I was talking about. Pretty much all of my skincare is actually from Neutrogena. So I got those. Then I got pimple patches. These are my favorite. They're from Mighty Patch. They literally save my life every single time. Then I got some shaving cream from Eos. This is literally the key to me drinking water. It's the Mio Lemonade Flavor Drops. I put that in all of my water and then like it tastes so good that I just want to keep drinking more. I also got these low calorie tortillas because I love making like little turkey wraps and stuff in them and this is actually the chipotle flavored. And then I also got some spinach tortillas. I was looking back at old videos and like what I eat in a days and I totally forgot that I had like this wrap obsession and I would make these delicious turkey wraps like cream cheese, tomatoes, lettuce. So I got some stuff to make those and that's actually everything. So overall, very successful Target trip. I didn't spend too much money. So now I'm gonna go drop the stuff off at home and we're gonna go to Starbucks for a little bit to work on college essays. my car it's super super bright sorry the lighting is like kind of crazy but I did some pretty good damage on my UC applications I have all four of them written I just have to like make them all way better but it's good that I have like a base now and then I also started editing this vlog a little bit but now I'm going to go home have dinner with my family FaceTime Grant for a little bit so we're gonna go do that and then I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit walk it was super nice we went two miles now I'm just chilling in my room it is about nine o'clock I'm just having a super cozy evening I've been actually writing some poetry for my English class and then that reminded me of this self-love poetry book that I got so I've been reading that for about five ten minutes and it's actually from Urban Outfitters if you're curious and I actually really like it because sometimes you just need a little bit of self-love reminders and I think poetry is a fun way to read it I am ending off my night I'm about to FaceTime Grant if you are new to my channel Grant is my boyfriend we are long distance 
students right now because he's in college in Santa Barbara. So I'm about to FaceTime him. I'm actually gonna end off today's video here. But before I go, I wanted to talk to you guys about the power of turning your day around, but also the importance of rest. Like I mentioned, this whole weekend, it's a long weekend, which is why I don't have school today, was really, really lazy, honestly. I slept in a lot. I really didn't do much, but that is so needed sometimes. So I just wanna show you guys that I'm not always the most productive. I'm not always eating perfect. Like I'm a teenage girl. We have weekends where we just need to rot in bed and that is so okay. So that's what I did all weekend. And sometimes that's the most productive thing for you because honestly, I had the longest week of my life last week and I feel like to go into this week really strong, I just needed that reset to just sleep as much as I needed to and just like not use my brain. And that's what I did. So sometimes doing the unproductive thing is the most productive thing for you. So I just wanted to tell you guys that because I would never want to make you guys think that I'm always this perfect person that wakes up at 5 a.m. every single day, like no. I'm a human, I'm literally 17, I sleep in, I feel unmotivated, we're all human. That being said, it's also never too late to turn your day around. Today, I knew I wanted to sleep in, I let myself sleep in, I scrolled on my phone this morning, like we were not feeling the most motivated. But at 10 a.m., I got up, I went to the gym, I still had a super productive day, I crossed off everything that I needed to get done on my to-do list, and now it is 9 p.m., I'm getting ready for bed, I'm gonna go to sleep early, and tomorrow I'm gonna feel super motivated, hopefully, to wake up at 5 a.m. and do it all over again. I feel like on social media, a lot of the time, we get a lot of like, my productive 6 a.m. morning routine, my productive 5 a.m. morning routine, and honestly, a lot of my videos are like that too. So I hope that this video can show you guys that not every morning routine has to start at 6 a.m. You can start your day at 10 a.m. and still have a super productive day. So it is never too late to turn your day around, get things done, chase after your goals. It doesn't matter what time you woke up because you can still have a super productive day. I'm feeling super, super excited for the month to come. I'm really excited to do this September challenge and just like really embrace fall and productivity and a more disciplined era of my life and I hope that you guys do it with me so like and subscribe so we can do the September challenge together I love you all so much let's get to 100k by the end of this year that's one of my goals so let's make it happen because that would make my entire year we're so close and so with that I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one